a snack And my tummy starts growling like it's going to attack I turn to my daddy and I say Hey dad, hand me a banana Pretty please and just a tad Of peanut butter on a spoon Make it quick, make it soon I'll let you get it ready while I sing this tune Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter I want it right now Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter banana. Hey guys, welcome to another week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy, this is Bianca, and this is Week in Review, the fun time where we come to you for one hour, approximately one hour, every Friday, yeah. and tell you all about all the cool things that have come into pop culture this past week. Bianca, we've got a lot to talk about this yeah, week, right? Yeah, we've got so much to talk about, as you can see. Evidently, yeah, we've had a massive Funko delivery, so yeah, that'll, yeah, be, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, but we've got some awesome new things from Super 7, Factory Entertainment, uh, Beast Kingdom, Hasbro, and more, so... I don't know. Before we get stuck into you know everything on the table, we should probably talk about the prize. The prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, prize. the prize. The prize. This is a very, very good prize. Very good prize. It is the diecast Spidey. Look Ooh. at him. He's so special and he's yeah. so shiny. He's 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 a pop. He's not a pop vinyl figure. He's a pop metal figure because he's a diecast figure, and that's really fun. And we're giving one of those away free. For someone today, if you want to win him, just leave a comment on the feed to go on the running to win. It's very exciting. Uh, Luke's looking for names for people who have commented, and he's going to write some of those names on the wheel at the end of the episode. We spin the wheel. Whoever lands on a win, that sweet Spider-Man pop. But we're going to give away some awesome other things as well. So stay tuned in the episode because you just might come away um, a little bit better off. Your collection looking a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Um, Collective so goodness. yeah, fun things to talk about. Again, just leave a comment on the feed to go on the running to win a prize. Um, and let's get started. Let's talk about some cool things. Bianca, uh, your choice. What do you want to kick off with? Well, we usually kick off with Loungefly, so we're just going to do that. We have a very lit little tiny taste of Loungefly. Uh, any bitty you, range. One. Yeah, little tiny ones. Now, these are not catalogue items, so we can only ship these to Australia and New Zealand. I'm sorry, it's not our choice. Um, but hey, let's let's take a look at that. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. This is really cool. This is uh, the pumpkin carriage pumpkin from marriage. Cinderella as a crossbody, but as the pumpkin, yeah, on the other Ooh. side, it has like the uh, original form on the back, which is really cool. So you can wear it like a reversible if you like, which is really cool. I like and the it's pumpkin all shiny. side. It's all shiny as well. It's got some sparklies. Um, we've got gold foil in here and it's all very pretty. Very, very good. I like it. It's a really pretty silhouette for a bag. We also have from Game of Thrones, we have this Sansa inspired mini backpack. Um, this is kind of like in the latest seasons where she's becoming a bit more of a hardened character. Yeah, going if you're into, if you're into leather and chains, this is, this is the one for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chains, uh, this thing. <laughs> you We've can, got a zipper you can, charm here. Yeah, you can put all your bedroom oh, favorites in that bag. <laughs> What's that meant to be? Uh, it's inspired by one particular outfit, which I can't describe. That outfit? Uh, <laughs> what is it? A little it's cylindrical a, object? It's a, it's a cone. It's a metal, yeah. It's a metal cone. Metal cone. It's a metal cone. Stick. It's a really long <laughs> plug of sorts. <laughs> Oh, God. oh, maybe is it the spike that um, Dad's head goes on? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> that's grim. Oh, no. I mean, Little look. Nerdy star. <laughs> leave it up to your imagination. But either way, this is inspired by one of our outfits, and it's pretty cool. Mm. Very, very cool. Next up, we have uh, this really cool fireworks Mickey and Minnie kind of like celebration mm. backpack. And it glows in the dark, Bianca. Yeah, My it goodness. does glow in the dark. We got the we torch. Can, here. I'm gonna see if we can orchestrate. I don't know where the torch is actually. Here it is. Yeah, oh. I'm just gonna get that gonna get it blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the light. Let's get this down. That'll Ooh. give us enough darkness, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. to figure out what going mm. to glow maybe the fireworks yeah maybe the fireworks meant yeah. to glow yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there so we go. all of those white fireworks will will pop out of the bag mm. yeah in the nighttime which is pretty cool that's fun and they have a nice little picnic applique down here in like cool blue tones as nighttime well. picnic food. fun yeah i eat that sandwich actually i don't know why cartoon food always looks so good to me 
Uh, so we've got that. And last up, we have this Bo Peep cosplay backpack. This is really, really cute. Um, got embroidery. Oh, she's porcelain. <laughs> Get it? Because she's Ooh. porcelain. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she gets yeah, yeah, yeah. smashed. Uh, Double smash. Yeah. Gosh. Smash. She's fine. <laughs> uh, so we've got smash, applique. Smash. We've got really, really pretty embroidery bringing her eyes out. And we've got like her corset mm. happening here with like yeah. proper lace and ribbons and everything. Ooh. And even her oh, sheet bow. are featured, <laughs> which is really cool. And then on the back as well. Oh, it has a <laughs> Yeah. You're cute when you care, which is, when you care, if I can speak, uh, which is of course one of her quotes from movies. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cute. And that's our little taste of lounge fly for mm. the week. <laughs> what else is down there, Bianca? We, we also have these cute vibrating plushies. Mm, hug me which, plush. Which don't have batteries in them no. at the moment. What? But when you hug them, they go. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is devastating to me. It's my favorite thing in the world. To, why do they have batteries in them? I don't know. Don't press it like that. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be turned on. Hang on. Let me open his butt. This is, anyway, we this have a Gretzico, which is really, really cool. And she's got her um, death metal face on. She's got a little microphone as well, which is cool. And sparkly Shiny. eyes. Yes. Mm. Very, very sparkly. I don't know why I was just poking her in the eye. I feel bad now. And she's got her cute, oh, cute cook. ears <laughs> as well. All right, they're doing batches. You just need to turn them on. You've got to open up their butts and hit the switch. And then they vibrate. Yeah. Look at that pumpkin, oh Michael. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh, wait, he's a great super. Wow. Anyway, uh, these are fun. You hug them, um, have a fun time with them, any way you want to. Uh, I won't judge. Um, <laughs> I will. But um, yeah, hug me plush from Kid Robot. Instructions. Whoa. I can't read them while he's vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see, do I have instructions here? Uh, so you've just got to remove the battery tab, hug me and I'll shake. You can clap your hands too to get me shaken. Clap oh. <laughs> your hands. I think we have enough vibration in my Hang on, I want to, I want to see it. Just gonna... I want to test the clap function now. This oh. Is, oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> please no, I'm really scared about the pop wall. Oh, <laughs> Michael, yes. Look at the pumpkin. Oh, he's, oh, he's having a great time. Oh, he's excited. No. <laughs> the face on the pumpkin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you should oh, see the back really of the pumpkin. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> they're really sensitive. Oh. Fix. Okay, good. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, um, that's a lot of fun. Um, okay. From Kid Robot. We've got some other plush that's, uh, they don't vibrate as much, but you know, there's still some change. Um, yeah, these are from Club yeah. um, Mochi Mochi. Mochi Mochi? I don't know how you meant to say it. Tony. Mochi. Tony? <laughs> but Club Mochi Mochi? Yeah, the Mochi Mochi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Yoshi's Egg. Yoshi, this, is, this is really soft. It's Yoshi's it's Egg. As well. From Super Mario franchise. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And then we have. Um, mm. Oh, what's the name again? Uh, bullet Bill? Chain Chomp. Is that it? Chain Chomp. It is just Chain Chomp. <laughs> oh, that's I thought not a bullet. Had a name. Yeah. Anyway. Wait, with a bum on? Oh, he's got his little chin. I know Mario yeah. things. Yeah, those. Uh, the bullet thing. Wait. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. We have Shy Guy as well. Pretty cute. They're all so soft. Um, let's have a banana. Peanut butter. <laughs> I want that right now. Um, Jeez. We have a coin. Uh -huh. Very mm. spherical coin. And we have the star. I like the star. Yeah, I like the star too. It's like the best thing ever. <laughs> cute. Yeah, cute little plushies. Um, what, what Luke's, nice... Luke's hearing something. Oh, no, no, someone's rustling. I think, I think it was your top on the mic. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, good. Oh, good. My bad, my bad. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Stop it. <laughs> uh, what next, Sandy? Uh, let's talk about some cool things from Funko, because there is a lot to get through. True. And uh, we may as well start down here. We've got some new uh, keychains that have come in, including a new um, couple of Daria ones. We've got yes. Jodie Landon, la, and we've got Daria uh, Morgendorfer, and she, Daria's reading a book, and she's very apathetic. Um, and that, is, that is fun. Fan of MTV's Daria, we'll get on that. Uh, from Demon Slayer, we have Sabito. There's a pop keychain, pop, pop keychain. We've got a couple of Star Wars ones as well. We've got young These Leia with Lola, and we've got young Luke Skywalker with his little toy ship um, that doesn't do anything because uh, he's a little poor boy. But um, oh. Leia's rich, she's got a droid. Uh, she's a princess. 
Um, so, yeah. Adoption can go one or two ways, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Only two ways. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's fun. Uh, if you're a fan of the Star Wars series Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, then you can grab those because they're from that Star Wars series. Yes. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, DMX, then well, we have this 12 inch uh, gold premium vinyl figure from Funko. Features DMX in a camo attire. He's got a little necklace there. He's on his microphone. He's ready to do whatever DMX does. Uh, I've never listened to him. I assume music. Yeah. He's gonna give it to you. Is that a reference? Is it? X gonna give it to you? Is, it? Is that him? Is that him? I don't know. Is that Nobody him? Does. Did I get my he wires crossed? <laughs> Maybe. Here's, an, here's another thing I might know nothing about. <laughs> BTS, um, pop pin set. So there's seven of them. Mm. And it's all of them. And they're all pointy. Name them all. And they're cute. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's cool. I feel got... like someone was just called like Jay or something. Oh. Or maybe, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, BTS. Oh. Yeah, BTS. <laughs> Woo. There they all. Party Name on. them in the comments. <laughs> uh, some cool Funko exclusives are coming this week. Let's take a look at the Diecast Spider-Man that we are giving away there this week. So do leave a comment in the feed to go in the running to win that. I'll so tell you what, if you do manage to name all uh, BTS members successfully, I will put your name on the wheel. But how will oh. you know? Because I'll go and check it. Okay, he's going to Google it. He's <laughs> going to use the power of the internet, folks. First one to um, wins. So Diecast Metal. Uh, nice and sturdy, nice and tough. Uh, this is a very, very limited line that Funko have done. This is only the ninth release. In fact, it's the eighth release because number eight hasn't even dropped yet. Yeah. Um, but it feels like so much more. Number nine, uh, <laughs> Blake, you can hear Blake's size because he, he makes this image transparent on our website. Yeah. Um, Took which, all day. <laughs> 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 um, but we have Spider-Man comes with a fun acrylic case, has all the dye lines of the box art on it, which is a fun way of displaying it, but you can actually view it from any angle. Uh, there is a chance of a chase piece, which comes with a brushed metal, unpainted Spider-Man. Shiny boy. Um, which is really fun. They come in these really deluxe packaging with a lot of spot varnish and foil detailing on it. Really premium, um, little, not necessarily a sticker on there, but a nice spot varnished um, Funko sticker logo on that, which is cool. Um, but yeah, really, really good. These are exclusive to pop culture in Australia as a line. Um, we still have some, um, couple previous releases. We've got Darth Vader still in stock. We've got Thor, we've got Black Panther. You can actually grab Spider-Man with Thor and Black Panther for a really, yeah. really good price. So definitely jump online and grab that bundle. Um, we also have Mickey Mouse that released uh, a few weeks back as well. You can still grab him for your collection. Um, but yeah, you know, die cast pops. Chance for Chase. Um, really fun. Get on it. Why not? Yay. Very exciting. You guys better do it. Just open a browser now. All right, open up a browser. You're going to popculture.com.au. You're going to go there. You're going to search. I'm going to search Spider Man, Spider Dash Man, and then Diecast, no dash, all one word. Or just look up Diecast Funko. Look up that, the Diecast, all one word, no dash. It's also in the Just Arrive. Yeah. Yeah. That's Grab fine. this, add it to your cart, but don't get this, get the bundle, get the bundle with the three, add that to your cart, and then check out right now, um, and if you happen to check out, but you know, you you, get, you do win this as a prize, hit me up, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll help you out, I don't know, I'm feeling good, but you know, why not buy one, why not buy one right now in popculture.com.au. Yay. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, before another, this before we move on to the other right, exclusives. <laughs> Let's take a look at these two um, down here because I'm afraid they'll get forgotten. Yeah, they will. <laughs> so we've got Yu Gi Oh! We've got XYZ Dragon Cannon. I have no idea. Is that a cannon is. that shoots dragons or is it a dragon that is also a cannon? Well, it looks, mm. it's dragon shaped. I, I can tell you that much. It is something that shoots dragons. <laughs> well, if you that look at where, the, where the dragon is positioned, Ooh. new dragon is going to come from cannon. somewhere. Yeah. Dragons come from that. That's how dragons are made. Yeah, Blake's I right. I think so, yeah. I wow. like it. I also Yu -Yu like this Cannon. guy. Yeah. Um, Ooh. This is the latest Moon Knight pop. Uh, <laughs> oh. No, it's oh. not. Stack and Titan from the final seasons. The Warhammer Titan. He's a Titan. He's got a Warhammer. And huh? a... Looks sick. Oh. In a milky lacquer suit thing. Mm. Why he's got lines over his eyes? I don't know. Maybe it helps Mysterious. him align his hammer. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> This Maybe is the slightest way. 
Anyway. Well, hammer time coming to your collection today. Smash. <laughs> uh, and we've got a really cool lots and sounds. Yeah, some, R2 some other D2. sweet pop culture exclusives that have come in. We've had a big week. We've had six pop culture exclusive releases this week. Yeah, Spider Man is one of them. R2 D2 is another. Lights and sounds pops. You may have seen these before. We've released a Batman one, we've released a Black Panther one, we've released Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. But now we've got R2 D2. Let's take a look. Now he has a bobble head, so there is no way of hitting his head and hearing the sound without his head bobbling. But let's go through, because there's some fun sounds. Yes. <laughs> hmm. It's really he screams. That's yeah, so I really cool. want that one, but they don't have it in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I uh, like anyway. the bobble head on it because I feel like it just gives it extra it calm. Going. Like it he's does, really spastic. There are there are light away. up elements, so if you let's hold it, all of the little lights actually light up um, in the head, not in the body. That's a classic. Too. Uh, but that's fun. That's fun. The Sacha D2 lights and sounds pops. Adam T collection today. Only available from us. Just jump on our website, popculture.com.au. Look up. R2-D2, oh R2-D2, lights and sound, and then you'll find that guy. You can get him in a mystery box as well. And the word or and the and? Don't even sound. worry about and. You don't need to search and. Okay. Just light. You can also do just it's lights, just buzzwords. sound, Just type in keywords. Pop. Yeah. Look up all lights, sound, pop. Plural of lights. No plural of sound. Pop. Yeah. You'll find it. Uh, <laughs> we've got a diamond glitter Darth Vader that has uh, come in. This is Darth Vader with a sweet, uh, glittery appearance. He's brighter. He's brighter than the Death Star. Uh, <laughs> or should I say the ruins of Alderaan uh, mm. as they're imploding. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, anyway, that's Darth Vader. Diamond glitter. Shiny glitter collection. Boy. Shiny boy. Oh and more God. shiny boys with C-3PO, right? Yeah, faceted. A, yeah. Multifaceted droid action. Um, whichever way you look, there's um, some... C three PO, yeah. <laughs> He's got some sweet angles, and if you, <laughs> he if does you, have some sweet angles. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to describe oh, the crystallized appearance, but anyway, it's if got you a, take it's it like out a the sun, finish, right? Yeah, if you take and it out in the light, it looks so pretty. He's just a bit more rigid than you would get, but you know, I say rigid by um, not the C three PO trading card rigid, but um, what the. <laughs> um, the um, ridges. He's got ridges. That's like a gemstone, people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can pick him up solo or in a mystery box. You can he, also get can um, Darth Vader and R two D two in a mystery box. And the same with Witch Mother. Witch. Sorry, Witch the, Mother. The Witch Mother. <laughs> 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 so funny. Um, so yes, from Hocus Pocus two, the Mother of Witches. There she is, yep. being all pretty and stuff. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, that's all the exclusives that we've got to show you, but we've got a whole bunch more. So Funko fun keep show going you. back to Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer as a product line. I think this might be the third time they've done pops for Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Gosh. but they keep doing it because oh, it is awesome. such a beloved um, family Christmas time holiday film that I've actually never seen. Um, but we've got Hermie, we've got Bumble, we've got Rudolph, we've got Santa the Snowman, we've got Santa Claus. And we've got Charlie in the box. Um, and you can grab all these in a bundle and um, use them as Christmas decorations, I guess. Mm, true. Why not? Hey, we've got from Demon <laughs> Slayer, we've got, oh man. Hagan Ezuka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Azuka. Tamayo. He's actually pretty cool. We've got Susumaru. We've got Sabito. And we've got Makomo. And uh, fun new line of Demon Slayer Pops. Um, it continues over here, because I put these on the wrong pile. We've got Gina Shinazagoa yeah. and Yahaba. And they're all available in a bundle as well if you want to pick them all up for a good price too. All eight? Yeah, maybe. Yep. They are. Maybe even more than eight. Can confirm. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. They are. <laughs> uh, from Black Clover, we have Yami, we have Yuno, Spirit of Zephyr, we have Black Asta. 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 
<laughs> but uh, we've got Noel Valkyrie Armor and we've got Noel Valkyrie Armor Diamond Glitter. Which has a diamond glitter element to it. Very cool. From the Seven Deadly Sins, we have four releases. Um, we've got Meliodas, King, Ban, and Elizabeth. Um, and I haven't actually seen this. It's interesting. I've watched What's it, it about? Uh, Is it the it's movie been Seven? So long. It's been so long since I watched it, but it's got like a bit of a medieval theme to it. Hey, Bianca, what's in the box? <laughs> it's this Meliodas pop. Not going to puncture his head. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's not too bad a watch. Um, I do find Meliodas a bit of a conflicting character, though, because he does have a sexual pest element to him. Yeah, yes. you're, re you're really good at highlighting all the tr the, the problematic characters in that Look, anime. just forewarning mm. anyone who hasn't seen it and might be a bit taken aback by it. <laughs> um, anyways, we also have this really cool two-pack. Count Dooku Count Count versus Dooku. Anakin Skywalker from The Clone Wars. I just can't take that guy's name seriously. Dooku. Dooku. <laughs> Dookies. Do you cuckoo? Count Dooku. Um, yeah, they're fighting each other with lightsabers and it's fun, dynamic, to Yay. that action. Um, it's cool. And from Attack on Titan, we have a moment. Eren meets Reyna. No idea what this means in well, the series. Never seen it, but it looks very intense. Cobblestone base, um, desk. Um, no, it's not a desk, it's a chair, two chairs. I feel like they come into an agreement about something sure in a wartime like setting. Mm. High stakes, it season? seems. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. No, For Star either. Wars, we've got um, Hera Syndulla in X-Wing Starfighter. Mm. From Clone Wars or Rebels? One of the two. Yay. Don't remember. Cool. Shall we continue with Funko on the other side? Well, we've got a couple of oh, sodies. So Oh yeah, of course, my bad. And we've got pins too. Let's, let's look at the pins. Um, so, Avatar. Yeah, so from the last Airbender, a uh, um, bunch of these glow in the dark too, which is really cool. Uh, we have Toph. Toph. We, Toph, sorry. Toph? We have, we, we have Zuko. Zuko? Z yeah. Zaku. We have Aang with Momo. Oh. And we have Suki. Sorry. Yay. <laughs> so Aang, Suki and Toph. Mm -hmm. Yay, glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. They're big old pins, so they're good for, you know, um, pretty pretty display collections or just, you know, jazzing up an accessory or something. Jazzing it yeah. up. Yeah. We've also got a couple of soda figures, yeah, which is do. pretty exciting. Uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we've got The Last Ronin, which is one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I won't spoil it for you. Um, and we have an Invisible Frodo, which is a pop culture exclusive that took quite a while to actually show up here in Australia, but we finally got it. And um, if only I remember where I put it. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you take it out? I can't see it. <laughs> anyway, unlike the rest of Sodas, there's actually no chance of a chase with an invisible Frodo. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, hmm. one in 10,000. Nice. One in yeah. 10,000. One in 10 K. Shall we continue <laughs> over this side anyway. with some more Funko? <laughs> sure. All right, we got some four packs here. So we have this one from Moana, which is pretty cool. I'm loving the Moana pop, um, as you see her in like the final scenes of the movie. We have her grandmother. Um, this is not a, oh wait, it does go on the dark. Well, yeah. one element of one character does. So it says go on the dark on there, but it's one the thing It's Katara, is. isn't it? Isn't it? Face. Yeah, yeah. Face. The flowers also seem oh. to glow. Is that uh, black light? Um, no, it's the lava, face. Lava monster. Lava guy. Balls? Yeah, Kitar. Lava guy glows. Yeah, no one yeah. else does. Kitar glows. And then we have Tafiti, of course, as well. Looking very pretty. Love Tafiti. Gorgeous. I should really leave it light up because we've got two black light ones. Yeah, 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 we do. Uh, so we have a Nightmare Before Christmas one. So this has Jack Skellington, mm. Oogie Boogie, Sally, and Zero all together. Now, you can see these are black light reactive. They're not glow in the dark. Do not glow in the dark, but the colors are such that they actually um, illuminate under a black light, which is cool. I love how neon these black light pops look as a general rule. It is so suit. sick. Those stripes. Yeah, look at those mm. pin stripes. Yes. They're so good. Yes. And we've we got, got another one. So we have Ooh, a Miles Morales four pack. Those. Yeah, man. So some of the suits from um, the Miles Morales um, adaptation of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, so this is um, his standard suit. 
And then we've got a whole bunch of others as Strike well. Suit. So we have the strike oh. suit and the Bodega cat suit, which is amazing it's because with the cat. so with the cat. yes, and the cat's name is Spider Man, nice. which is amazing. And we have the track suit as well, which is one of my favorites. It's very, very cool looking. Uh, Bianca does like to wear track suits. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> I, they're so comfy. I love them. Maybe I'll wear one to the next live stream. Whoa, um, whoa, is that a guest appearance? <laughs> whoa! Oh, uh, sorry guys, I've been here the whole life. Ooh, it's my. Handsome Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Handsome Jess. Jess. Play the boots. Track star Jess. <laughs> Track star Jess. Hi guys. Surprise! It's me. I'm here. I've just been very, very busy learning all the amazing records that have come into stock. So I thought I'd give you the gander and a geese of what's come in, eh? Bianca, could I have you next to me to hold the <laughs> yes, record? Of Lovely. Talking a British accent, isn't it? <laughs> you can't stop now. <laughs> uh, let's get straight into it. First up, celebrating 20 years, is Elephant by the White Stripes. Hey, yeah. Let's not talk about the elephant in the room. What? What's <laughs> I'm in here for a minute, Andy. <laughs> One minute. Um, really iconic uh, album, really influenced by blues rock. Uh, with classic songs like Seven Nation Army, you know that one? Burr, 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 burr. You know that one? Uh, Black Math, I Don't Know What To Do With Myself, and The, the Hardest Button To Button. You know this album. You love this album. Buy this you album. You know it. You know it. Stop You're lying. a fan. Next up, we have an awesome single. This is Silverchair, Miss You Love, one of the last singles to come off the Neon Ballroom 1999 album. Uh, so this one features, guess what, Miss You Love, um, as well as Wasted, Fix Me, and Minor Threat. Um, so Music on Vinyl has done a really awesome collection, I believe, on Frog Stomp and Neon Ballroom, all the singles that came out. And this is pressed on yellow vinyl, which is really cool. So definitely check it out. I'm out of breath. <sighs> Just so okay. excited. Calm We're yourself. back. Wait. Have you, been, Have you brewed Gosh, up a fresh pot out there? Pun? Have you been on the on the caffeine wagon? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, watch the pot. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have drank from that. That's foul. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we had a massive delivery of David Bowie come in. So I want to show that off. So first off, Hunky Dory. Uh, this yeah. one, again, I, I don't really feel the need to talk about much David Bowie because you kind of just should know that David Bowie is an absolute legend um, and a musical legend, icon and things like that. So Hunky Dory pressed on a picture disc. So look, you think it's mm. the album cover? No, it's the actual disc. That disc is pretty Hunky Dory, Jess. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, so it's got songs like Changes, Are You Pretty Thing, a uh, song for Bob Dylan, and of course, Life on Mars. A slay. Yeah. Next up, uh, more <laughs> Bowie. Uh, Aladdin Iconic. Sang. Iconic with mm. the lightning bolt artwork. Uh, again, just Bowie. This has one of my favorite Bowie songs, the Jean Genie, um, as well as The Prettiest Star, Panic in Detroit, and Cracked Actor. Really, really cool. Yeah. One of my favorite things about Bowie, of course, he had all these different eras, right? He was Thin White Duke, he was the Stardust. My favorite thing is when he escaped America and his drug addiction and went to Berlin. And oh. he did the Berlin Trilogy, and one of the albums that come out that was uh, Low, which is just really avant-garde art rock that is just really cool. I feel like this album is very underrated um, and is very much worth, worth a listen. Definitely check this it's one great out. Cover. Yeah, it's got things like Breaking Glass, uh, Be My Wife, Art Decade, and things like that. Really great album. Just a lot different. His Berlin Trilogy, read up on it. It's amazing. What are the other ones in the Berlin Trilogy? Uh, Heroes? Sorry, what are the other ones in the Berlin Trilogy? <laughs> Get my microphone! I believe it's Heroes and Let's Dance. Okay. And then Low. Okay! O okay! Lo okay! You don't need to be <laughs> <laughs> uh, And of course, we're gonna talk about David Bowie, we're gonna talk about Z Stars and the Spiders from Mars. The disc has kind of moved around. <laughs> um, but yeah, another picture disc. This one was the album that really shone the stardom. After, you know, he had his little runs with Space Oddity and The Man Who Sold the World, but this is what brought people to Bowie, you know, brought attention to Bowie. Uh, five Years, Lady Stardust, uh, Rock and Roll Suicide, one of my favorites, as well as Suffragette City. Really, really cool album. Next up, another person I'm excited about is Leonard Cohen. Um, really prolific kind of songwriter, I feel like, is the master of love songs and just... Every time I read something about I'm like, oh God, he hits me in the feels. He knows he's talking to me. It's really sad, Austin music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, real sad. I mean, of course, Leonard Cohen was actually the writer of Hallelujah, um, mm -hmm. made popular by obviously Jeff Buckley and his version on Grace, but he wrote it. He wrote it. 
Um, so we got songs like So Long Marianne. Uh, so good. Um, Suzanne and my favorite one is uh, Chelsea Hotel 2, which is actually a song about him singing about a fling that he had with Janis Joplin. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Saucy. Saucy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and last up, last week I showed off some awesome Disney records we've had coming and we've had another awesome one come in, which is The Princess and the Frog. Um, love this Disney movie. I think it's, again, highly underrated. Everyone should watch this is Princess and the Frog. Dr. Facilier, smash. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's got songs like uh, Gonna Take You There, which is the one that goes in Heading Down the Bayou. <laughs> Heading Down the Bayou. It's good. It's good. Um, down New Orleans, Almost There. Um, Friends on the Other Side, yes. which is a sway. <laughs> yes. um, and yeah, really, really cool. So that's all the records I have, but... If you want to hear more from me and not sick of my voice out, what you can do is head over to the Pop Culture Records in uh, Spotify, sorry, and check out my awesome, cool podcast that I'm doing that's really cool and chill and vibey. And I talk about some iconic Australian artists on there and talk you through the history and things like that. When did you film that? You'll never know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, you're going to listen to my podcast, Pop Culture Radio. It's a slay. Anyway, I gotta get back to you know learn some records, so we have some more cool stuff. Maybe he's, he's your right. Do you, should you have the right to speak? Oh yes, this is fun. Yeah, I'm your boss. <laughs> 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 bye bye. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for that. That was bye, great. Jess. That was great. Bye. All right, so we've had we've had two we've had two smashes. We've had Doctor Psilia and we've had Bo Peep. True. Keep 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 the tally at home. Who's who would prefer what? Oh. I had a smash on the uh, Warhammer Titan. All right, three smashes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I want one. Yeah, yep, smashing that Warhammer. Triple threat. Mm. Hey, we got some more right, awesome new things. This is very Funko. important. There are Daria pops now. There are Daria pops. So we have Daria Morganorfa, of course. We have Jane Lane, and we have Jody Langdon. And I really hope they bring out more in this series, especially Trent, because Trent is a smash. Oh. Trent is a massive. Oh, we're at four smash. smashes. I'm the only one that has it. Uh, <laughs> smash. Jane Lane. Pop it, pop Jane it. Lane has to be one of the coolest characters to ever be written. Absolutely. <laughs> Jane she is very, Lane is very very cool. And Dara is very cool as well. Like it was such a good show. Like I love it. It's amazing. And what's also amazing are these black light. Ooh, torches coming back. Sanrio pops. Yeah, we need that black light over here. This is really really cool set. Oh. Uh, so they are Halloween themed. Oh. So we got cool. Well, they're selectively black light. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the light on and this. This is. Yeah. So we have Kuromi at the top here. Oh yeah, that's the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we've got Hello Kitty. It's Halloween. Who's also dressed up like a cat, even though she's already a cat. And then we have my Melody at the bottom. Who's also dressed up like a Wabbit. cat. I think, I don't know whether Kuromi's also meant to be a cat just because Hello Kitty and my Melody are cats. Um, but hey, Halloween theme, they're black light, they're super, super cute and yeah. Very good. What, what now, is this is going to be fun. Uh, it's another um, Sanrio character that um, no one will ever know exactly what it is. We could have many a debate. Apparently, Hello Kitty is a girl in a cat costume. Uh, apparently, that is also not true. So, oh, okay. who um, knows? Right? I don't know what a Karomi is. Karomi's probably a block of cheese. I think mm -hmm. Karomi is meant to be a bunny, also. Where like is my melody. Bunny? Where is its ears, Bart? <laughs> Under these in, in the chest, uh, not right to, well, those in triangles the, in, in the chest parts. <laughs> I think they're in there. Yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it a dog? <laughs> what? Is it another? I'm not getting dog vibes. No, I don't think so. No. Anyway, <laughs> let, let's talk about these pops, and I'm going to say a bunch of names that I'm going to butcher. Thank you. So that's the volleyball anime, I believe. Yeah. I thought it was basketball, but it's not. Definitely bo volleyball. All mm. right. So we have um, Daichi Suwamura. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> we have Oof. Paige. Um, oh, shoot. Maybe let's not do last name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> last so we have names. Kachi. Last we have names. Paige. Yes, 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 yes. We names. have Shoyo. And that's all we got in those ones. We also have a couple of Naruto pops. So we have Neji. Neji? Mm, there you go. He, and Hinata. With twin lion fists. Yeah. Oh. Whatever, whatever that means. I'm not too sure. I've never seen the show. Maybe she smashes a lot with those. Mm. <laughs> we also have Ego with syrup. Now this is scented smell it. as well. What does it smell like? Maple? I can't. Violet. I can't smell it. Open that box. Open it. Open it. Open it. Yeah, I can't smell it in here. But in the meantime, let's check out Michael Jackson. 
Look at that, he's doing the lean. Yeah, don't smell that. <laughs> this is very important. Look, 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 look. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, very smells good. That, that one's fun. That one Mold. smells like burnt hair. Yeah. Ding, 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 oh. ding, 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 ding. What does it smell ding, like? Ding, ding. Mm. Is it waffly? I'm suddenly realizing I don't know enough about how waffles would generally smell. It's sweet. Mm. Very Sugary. Easy. I'm, I'm cooking them on the reg, mate. <laughs> Jealous. Go the extra. Every weekend. That's so good. Oh. Do they oh, smell like Eggos? No. The syrup looks cool there. Just like it smells that. more like they've leaned into the maple smell. Yeah, but it's not. It's almost like yeah, more like honey maple. than it is maple. Yeah, it's got a honey smell. Boo. Mm. Eggo puff. But like really strong local, you know, honey you might get from the market. Mm. Mm. Market honey. Mm. Very Definitely. Good. Uh, like I could lick it. Like I, I feel like I could lick comfortably it. lick it. <laughs> Maybe don't lick it. What, it, what are you it. talking about? Oh, it. Like it's got a it's got yeah. a sweet smell that I could just like I put it in my nose and I can feel like it, my tongue the wants urge. it. Yeah, yeah. Do but it. I'm not going to. Do it. I'm not going to. Coward. Not going to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about uh, this next one. Uh, so this is from the Civil War builder scene. So this is the famous airport scene in um, Captain America: Civil War. We have Falcon. Yay! He's flying and stuff. Next up, as part of the ad icons that Funko have been doing, we have the Hershey's bar holding also a bar of Hershey's. Does that one smell it's like um, Hershey's disgusting chocolate? <laughs> well, it doesn't Hershey's. say that it's scented, so I, I don't think we need to worry about that. And at Max the very Verstappen. bottom, yeah, racing guy. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know anything about him. He wins all the races, and I hate that I know that. Oh. <laughs> Wow. wow. Yay for him, I guess, if he's winning all the time. Here we've got some comic covers. We've got Wolverine yeah. from uh, uh, That's like OG Wolverine, isn't it? X-Men, first issue of Legend Reborn. This must be from, this isn't the first X-Men, so this is from uh, a later, I don't know, whatever they were doing in 1991, whatever they put out in 1991 as an X-Men line. But it's got Wolverine in it. Yeah, hey, Wolverine. He was an original X-Men. Later Very on. cool. We got Hawkeye from uh, the Avengers number 109. Which is neato. Mm. Uh, and we have Scarlet Witch from the Avengers 104. And we have um, Phoenix from, from um, yeah. That's the X-Men first appearance of Phoenix, right? I'm pretty uh, sure yeah, it is. Yeah, this is where she bursts out. Jean Grey gets, you know. Transform. Good hair. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have a cool uh, Harleen Quinzel. Um, uh, Stupid name. It's a good name. Um, talking pop about? cover from Harley Quinn. Um, who? This is her. This is this is her breaking um, from psychiatrist into um, supervillain. This is yeah. like the transformative uh, stage. Um, Mm, she's crazy. That's, I believe it's based on a comic or comics of the same name as well, yeah, if Harley, I remember correctly. Yeah, we Harley Quinn looks really individual cool. um, issue, like a uh, comic run, um, not a Batman one. Yeah. Uh, we've got a pop cover um, of um, Ace uh, uh, as, a, as a wanted poster from One Piece. Uh, this is a fun collection they're doing. This is the very first one announced. They've released another one recently at um, San Diego Comic Con, and um, I imagine they'll continue. There's a lot of characters in one piece. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but that's fun. And we've got uh, Dolly Parton um, from uh, Backwards Barbie. Yeah. Working out. No. Very cool. <laughs> they really encapsulated her outfit so well there. I love it. it. It's so good. Yeah, love a bit That's of a pink and leopard print. Very good. You can get a dolly, um, dolly, so to speak, but that's a pop figure. Not yeah. a doll. Um, we have some mugs. We uh, do. Or should I say muggles? <laughs> uh, I'm going to start smashing them. I'm going to smash them out of anger. Look, we've got Harry. He's in his little scar up there. Got He's got cute little buttons. eyes. Looking a bit mischievous. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, and uh, Dumbledore's so the same. Is he. Yeah, yeah, they're all just like, hmm. A little side eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And we have Voldemort oh, as well. No. He's he's not being mischievous, even though he should be. He's a I villain. don't like it. Mm. The eyebrow but, ridges. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got, he's got eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. He looks like an Axel Laurel. Yeah. He does. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some geeky cheekies geeky as well. Cheekies. We've got Dobby. Oh, no. Yeah. Looks cool. like Look um, the smiling mm -hmm. Titan from Attack on Titan. Don't Aww. like it. Aww. Anyway, it looks <laughs> like so it looks like Mo smiling. Oh, it does too. <laughs> and we have Voldemort again. He looks really angry, and he has uh, heckin' big ridges. I like that one better though. Yeah, yeah, that's done really, really well. I really oh. love geeky cheekies. <laughs> oh, it's a no from me. Oh, yeah, that's very, really? and a very expressive so Harry afraid? Potter. Yeah. What's he doing? Uh, he's pooping. I was yeah, going to say. Gonna say it does <laughs> like that was he's, my first he's clenching for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Some hemorrhoids there, Harry. Or maybe it's these yeah. two together, Julian. Oh, yeah. Julian? Oh, he actually looks worried. like he's pooping too. Oh, yeah, they More are. Like they're having a, they're having a, a battle. Um, yeah. <laughs> More like Harry yeah. Plopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. Yeah. Anyway, Geeky Tiki. Geeky nice. Tiki. Oh, and very cool. whatever that other line was that they were doing from um, Beeline, that was, uh, what artist was it? I can't remember what it was called. We had the we had the monocle with the horror ones on a couple weeks ago and they had like a name. Oh, a couple of cuties? A couple, I think, yeah. A couple of cuties. Um, mm. I don't think they were that brand though because I don't remember that branding being on the box. These no. just had the standard Wizarding World Wizarding World? Branding. Oh, that's just Harry Potter branding. Yeah, they don't just, let you do anything fun. Just Harry Potter. <laughs> Side-eye Harry Potter. Side-eye Harry. <laughs> hey, we got some action figures over here <coughs> while we're here. From Hasbro. Sure why not? Here's a um, couple of Star Wars. So we've got Boba Fett um, in his Tuscan gear. From the Book of Boba Fett. And everything. The Book of Boba Fett. Uh, we have, oh, I don't know how to say this. Hang on. Nine Num. Nine Num. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. We've got Cad Bane. That's Return of the Jedi. And then we've got from Book of Boba Fett, we've got oh, Cad Bane. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, and then from the Mandalorian credit collection, uh, we have the Dark Trooper. Now the credit collection is interesting because they've used credit in two ways. One, you get a little credit mm -hmm. with the figure. Two, it's uh, the colorway of the figure is actually based on the closing credits of the Mandalorian. So, oh, oh, right. Oh, yeah, where well, they do like all the illustrative concept yeah. arties so, business. Credit, two, two times credit, different, different, Different ways of using the word credit. Two English. credits for the price of one. Isn't the English language fun? Yay. Hope Yay. someone got a raise for that idea. Oh, very cool. Oh. They well, got a few more credits in their bank account. <laughs> also from Hasbro, we've got... <laughs> um, stuff. We have uh, uh, an Albert Doric uh, Golden Archive Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. That's a fun movie. If anyone hasn't watched that movie, I actually enjoyed it. It was a good movie. Um, but this is an action figure of the owlbear. Um, and, um, yeah, well, it's of, of Doric as an owlbear, specifically. Is that a spoiler? That's terrifying. She's a, she's a um, shapeshifter. Okay. Yeah. Um, Looks cool, though. But, yeah. So, articulated, comes with additional paws. Uh, no window box, because Hasbro are fun. Yeah. Um, We've got some um, office figures. Yeah, we do. As well. I feel uh, like this is all you have seen the office. When is the change happening? Is the change happening? Uh, Hasbro have announced they're going back to windowed packaging because everyone hates this. Um, so I don't know. I, yeah. think, I think the latest wave of announcements in action figures and six scale figures has actually gone back to the window so good it can't come soon within enough. 12 months i imagine yep. it'll start coming back up so uh you might be familiar with michael scott's um uh, film threat level midnight well that's, super seven have done an entire uh series of the office figures based on threat level midnight we've got michael scott as michael scan um uh, we have uh dwight Schrute as samuel l chang um we have uh jim halpert as golden face um we have uh, Daryl Philbin as President Jackson. Um, we have uh, Creed Bratton as Cherokee Jack. Uh, and we have Toby Flinderson as Hostage Number 4. Uh, unfortunately, no exploding head. Um, but uh, I really love this. Uh, really nice backing card based on the film. Super Sam have done this a couple of times. They've kind of taken in um, show properties and created... Um, kind of a, a, an action figure line based around that. They've done it with um, The Simpsons. They've got a whole McBain line that you can get. 
got all the Troy McClure movies. Mm. That they've just done a really nice job at um, kind of like taking licensed goods and, and making them a little bit more interesting. The packaging just isn't a reflection of what's in here. No, the packaging is the poster for the movie. Uh, and I really love this because on the back you have um, a little cutout of how to do the scan. And um, you're gonna jump to the right and shake a hand, and then jump to the left and shake that hand, and you meet new friends and you tie the yarn, and that's how you do the scan. Um, so yeah, you can, that's awesome. You I can, included that. You can get that, which is fun. Um, also from Super Seven, we've had some music releases. We got ODB and Old Shimmy Shimmy. Dirty Bastard starring in Shimmy Shimmy, which is cool. Mm. Backing up, it's legit on that one. Um, we have from the Grateful Dead, we have Uncle Sam. We've got uh, a couple of Sex Pistols released. We've got Johnny Rotten, and we've got Sid Vicious, and that microphone stand's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, and then we have we have uh, Bootsy, Bootsy Collins. But take a look on the back; you can make your yeah, own glasses. Yeah, you can cut you out like. Bootsy's glasses mm. from the back. It's Bootsy baby. Yeah, um, but yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> Oil detailing. You right, Luke? Yeah, yeah, I'm just appreciating it. Yeah. That's my appreciation laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, some fun music releases, which is really good. Um, we have had a couple of cool things in from Factory Entertainment. Uh, let's start with this. This is a set of um, metal signs based on um, uh, The Lost World, not The Lost World, from Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, we've got a Beware of the, the Rex tin sign. This comes in a set, so you can get all of these. Not responsible for injuries or death. Um, we've got little holes so you can put them on things, like walls or poles, however you want to do it. Um, uh, when T-Rex rolls, go indoors, stop all activities, seek shelter in a substantial building or a hard-topped vehicle. Wait 30 minutes for T-Rex to pass before resume the activities. Because these are all like real-world scenarios because Ooh. in Jurassic World Dominion, uh, humans coexist with dinosaurs, um, which is fun. Uh, the keep distance sign. <laughs> Uh, we've got the caution attacking raptor sign, uh, which you wouldn't even be able to read because <laughs> you'd be dead. Yeah. Um, but where are you in raptor country? Ooh. Raptor activity in bat country, high. And then raptors have scratched it because it's so evident. And we've got Dilophosaurus, poisonous dinosaurs inhabit the air area. Um, and then avoid Dilophosaurus. And uh, and that's that's all of them. But they come in a really, really fun set. So, you know, you can grab these for your uh, collection. Um, they are metal, they are good quality, um, and the fact that they're in a fun set means that you don't have to just pick one. You have no you choice, you gotta take them all. Yeah. Um, which is fun, because why wouldn't you want them? Also from Factory Entertainment, we have some scale replicas on the Jurassic Park front. We have uh, John Hammond's cane, um, which features um, the uh, amber, Mosquito, but the mosquitoes just printed on the front. They haven't actually put it in that small scale, but it is um, it is translucent. Mm -hmm. uh, the cane's good. Um, we also have from Harry Potter. We've got the Nimbus um, from Lord of the Rings. We got uh, Frodo's blade, whatever that one was called. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, Shiny. Yeah. Uh, from the Batman, we have the the Bat Terang. Mm. Uh, from Men in Black, we have um, the one of the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, from Back to the Future 2, we have uh, Mr. Fusion. And from Creatures from the Black Lagoon, we've got a, sc a scale replica of the uh, fossilized um, hand of the creature, um, which is fun. That's die cast metal. All of these metal. Really fun. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Very, very cool. Uh, while we're on replicas, let's take a look at this awesome one that's shown up from Paragon FX. So this is a really, really impressive piece. It is a modular utility grapnel serial gun from, sorry, not serial, uh, grapnel gun from uh, 1989 Batman film. So this is an incredibly highly detailed um, replica piece. Um, you have, uh, it is not functioning, but it does Ow. come with like pressing buttons and things like that. Um, it comes with, um, it's all, all heavyweight metal and the packaging is really, really nice. Um, and it, uh, it does a good job to that looks awesome. clip together. Um, and I don't exactly know how. 
mm. clips together. Um, I don't remember these egg beaters no, being I involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember those either. Um, but you've got, um, yeah, you've got all these really great pieces. Um, and in theory, <laughs> in theory, it'll go together. <laughs> Instructions are included, I am sure. I would say um, a must. <laughs> but the packaging is really good. Really, really nice, kind of like foam case. The carry case is really good. Articulated handle, clips actually close. Um, yeah, really fun. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for a, um, a premium Batman replica, well, this might just be the one you need for your collection. Absolutely. Um, God, I wish I had a grappling gun. Very down. cool. Oh, no. God, I wish I had one. Anyway, it doesn't, you doesn't, can actually, have that. doesn't actually work. I want it to be real. <laughs> you want to scale it. The buildings. Yeah. Let's take a look at a couple of statues we've got in from <laughs> Beast Kingdom. Look at this poo. He is very, very cute. He has... <laughs> Sorry. Hey, look at this poop. Yeah. <laughs> this poop has a bee on it. Shiny bee. No, this is really, really cool. They've done um, this really kind of simplistic, almost kind of like monochrome um, mm. palette, if you will. And it's all shiny everywhere. Like even the honey down here, mm. it has a translucent effect to it. So it looks like proper honey, yep. which is really, really cool. And pearlescent, poo, just yeah. really pearlescent. Yeah, Pooh has that pearlescent effect to him. That yeah. it's really, really medically. Strong on his I body. would go and get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not the consistency of peanut butter. But it's really, really cool, and he's on like a wooden stump base, which just makes it even more adorable. It's like he's in hundred acre wood, and these two come with plates on the front that have the edition number and everything on it too. They make it all fancy schmancy, nice display. And we also have Stitchy with a frog on his head. Ah. And so cute and early, check this out. I actually thought this was wet and was worried for no, a second there. They've resin. done that so well. They've done really well. Nice spot varnish detailing as well on the hands, the, the foot, the, the eyes, the frog, uh, the nose. It's, yeah, it's just, um, it's a nice piece. It's really cool. What I really love about these Beast Kingdom Mastercraft statues is the price. They're actually really, really affordable for the size and scale of figure you're getting. So. Um, if you're a Disney fan, this stitch piece is definitely one of the best I've seen and definitely affordable. Yeah, absolutely. These are very cool. And this is celebrating um, Disney 100 as well. So it's a good piece. 100 years of that's, Disney? Yeah. Wow. Um, which is, uh, I think it's October 16th, they officially turn 100 and they've been celebrating all year with releases like this. Which is very, very cool. Um, so it's a good piece to have if you're a fan of Lilo and Stitch and also just want a little... Happy reminder that there's 100 years of Disney magic. Okay, from Thor, really Love cool. and Thunder, we have Mjolnir. Uh, and this is a life-size replica of it. It is not detachable from the base. But so even if you think you might be able to pick it up, if you think you are worthy, try uh, Bianca, Chunk try. of Ground's coming try with Bianca, it. So try. Chunk of Ground Rip is coming right away with that. Uh, but <laughs> it does no have a way. nice faux leather strap. Uh, paint, paint detail's really good. Um, and a, yeah, a fun replica piece from uh, Beast Kingdom. They've done a couple of these before. I've uh, done Tony Stark's helmet um, from um, Endgame, start, start of Endgame, and yeah, and they've now done um, the reformed Mjolnir from uh, Love and Thunder, which is cool. Yeah, very, from, very um, cool. Hasbro, we've got some cool Transformers figures that have come in. Let's take a look at these. They're all from uh, Transformers. Uh, uh, no, this is not all of them. So I thought they were all from the new movie. No, they are. Rise of the Beast. They're all from Rise of the Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey guys, smash. Uh, these are smash <laughs> changes. Uh, you smash them down and they change, I think. I don't exactly know what they do. 11 steps. You can change that from a truck to, to Optimus or vice versa. Um, we've got the Optimus Primal. Um, that goes into a gorilla. We've got uh, two pack here of Bumblebee and Snarl Saber. Um, and they morph together. Um, cool. These are these are Beast Alliance ones. Uh, also in Beast Alliance, we got Optimus Prime and Chainclaw. Oh, sick! Turns into a chainsaw. Oh, I like so that. Cool. Um, <laughs> we've got Optimus Primal and Skull Cruncher. That's a good name, Ooh. Skull Cruncher. Beast oh, Alliance. Look out! Whoa! Is this like a wolf with a chainsaw for a butt? Yeah, it is. Butt saw. Uh, we've got Rhinox, Beast Alliance. Just some thing. Six steps. Uh, we've got Bumblebee. And we've got uh, Optimus. 
And we've got um, this one. Arrow stripe. Mm. What's arrow stripe do? Oh, it's a, it's a little arrow. Cool. Little bow. Ooh. We got some itty bitty boys. We've got Cheetor. Four steps into a blade. Um, we've got uh, Skull Cruncher into a gun. Uh, we've got uh, Rhinox into a machine gun. Um, Amazing. Which is cool. Very cool. From Mezco, we've got some cool new releases. This is my favorite thing on the table today. This is the one, tw uh, sorry, it's the, what do they call it? Five points. It's the five points um, uh, play set of Popeye featuring Popeye and Oxheart in a boxing ring. Uh, and the boxing ring's great. Uh, got um, little uh, turn styles, uh, turnbuckles, sorry. Um, and you've got the ropes that go in there, and then you've got these really nice three and three quarter scale uh, articulated um, Popeye and Oxheart figures. Um, and I really like they've got some like old leather weathering on on the um, the, the boxing gloves there. Uh, right. Popeye there. Um, really, really fun, really nicely stylized. The, the whole setup is really great. Like, this is a playset. Um, for something that comes in a box this size, like, this is great. It's so good. It's really this, cool. I didn't realize this it was that small. This character in the back, Smash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that um, is. <laughs> I'll avoid that up. Um, <laughs> both on the same line, uh, five points. We've got the Silent Hill 2 Deluxe Box set, which comes with two different diorama scenarios. Uh, we've got uh, Triangle Head Guy. Uh, and red he, pyramid thing? Yeah, red pyramid thing. Uh, and he's got that um, red pyramid thing on his head. And he, in change of alarm, you can either put the big, big knife on it or you can put the spear. Yes. Um, or we have um, uh, the, was the nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got an interchangeable hand. She can just make two fists or she's got a little crowbar pipe there as well. Yeah. Um, fun diorama base, spin that around, um, different backing. Of uh, the different scenes on there, which is cool. Very, very cool. Uh, we are nearly out of time, I think. Is that everything? That it's is everything. everything, which means it's prize time. It is prize time. time. Spin the wheel. Prize, prize, prize time. time. We prize. spin the wheel. People win prizes. Prize. Everyone has a great prize. time. We are, of course, spinning first and foremost for this week's grand prize, which is, of course, the Diecast Spider Man pop. We're going to send Flip you a web. sealed unit. So there is a chance, one in six chance, I believe, of actually getting the brushed metal chase piece. Um, Shiny. But yeah, really, really Ooh. great piece. Let's spin, see who's going to win this Spider Man diecast figure. Who's it going to be? It's going to be this person right here. Phil Matt, congratulations. Ooh, yeah, um, Phil. I don't know if you're one person or two, but congratulations. <laughs> You've won this really, really awesome figure uh, from my friends at Funko. <laughs> Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, your email address, and we'll get that sent out for you next week. Uh, I'm going to spin now for the lights and sounds R2D2 and see yeah. who's going to win yeah. that great fi uh, figure. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Now, uh, one prize per person. Do you have a pen there, Luke? I do. All right. It's going to write. Uh, uh, die cast. And then I'm going to spin, see if he's going to win. <laughs> Likes and sounds after D2. Here we go, and it is... Uh, Jessica Milligan, congratulations Yay! from the Likes and Sounds R2 uh, <laughs> D2. Pop final figure. No, uh, again, he send doesn't us a want private to message the on moment. Facebook. We'll you need your personal information, one, your email address, and we'll get that sent out ASAP. Uh, and uh, let's spin for the, the Diamond Glib Darth Vader, Ooh, shall we? Oh, shiny. Shiny, sparkle, wow. sparkle. Uh, Lisa Mustang. Lisa Mustang, congratulations. You've won Diamond Glib Darth Vader. Yeah. Uh, again, private message, please, on Facebook with your name, your personal information, or your email address. We'll get that sorted. Uh, it's been for multifaceted C3PO. Oh, another boy, shiny boy. Crazy. You know, that one was, uh, one was, what was that, Darth? Yep. Yes. Shiny. Flippity flap flop, flippity flip. And... Sorry, oh, Phil. Sorry, Phil. Matt. Matt? Phil. Got to spin again. I hope you didn't start writing two names on that. I did do one dyslexic on here. <laughs> uh, Matt uh, Far Cry. Cry, congratulations. Ooh. You've won C3PO. Uh, Matt, you've got a sick name. So congrats on that. Again, just a private message on Facebook, your name, personal information, email address, we'll get it sorted. And we'll spin one last time today for the witch mother. Oh. Uh, see which 
Beulah is going to win. Oh. Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Oh, that's who it was. It was uh, Corf Kelly. <laughs> it's supposed to be Kelly Corf. Oh, come on. Is there like three mats? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of mats. And... All right. Archit Sharma. Congratulations. Yay. Uh, Yay. Go on, the, the Witch Mother. Uh, so please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, and your email address as well. Everything you need, everything you just want to put on a parcel, we'll get it sent out to you. Uh, that one was a witch. Um... So, congrats. Yeah. Uh, guys, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. Uh, I've been Andy, it's Bianca. We've got Blake behind the camera and Luke running the show. Uh, tune in next week for another exciting episode. I and mean, until then, stay safe, happy collecting, and uh, just jump online at popculture.com, play some orders. Why not? Hey. Uh, we'll catch you next week. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.